if not, what's the contingency? Do you try bringing in another chalk? Uh, yeah, we'll look at it, but I, I'm pretty sure he's going to play. So <laughs> I've got a contingency worked out yet. We haven't had a match committee. Um, we've got it in a couple of hours, so we'll, we'll worry about that if it happens. But at this stage, he'll, he'll be OK. And, um, yeah, the makeup of our side will change slightly, but uh, not too much. No, do you have any take in this I don't think we'll take any uh, cl injury cloud players. We normally take one, maybe two travellers. So we'll, we'll be pretty, pretty straightforward this week. Um, it's a Sunday game, so we'll name our squad. This afternoon, and then we'll make a final decision tomorrow afternoon. But we're um, normally in Brisbane by then, so um, we'll make that call a little bit earlier. Will Scofield, how do you, how's that going, and how do you assess the sort of yeah. straight back in if he's right to go? Or? Well, we've got to look at it. I mean, he's available this week. We've got obviously Barras and McGovern as talls, so um, yeah, we've got to assess that. Brisbane are a pretty tall forward line as well, so uh, we'll, we'll weigh all that up. But that's um, that's a great problem to have, to have quality players like Schofield come back and be available and have a pretty consistent back line is, is really important for us. They didn't have the greatest of weekends last week, but um, they've been pretty good for us. So do you think you'll need, you have some force changes with sort of guys or just a couple of form things or? Yeah, uh, look, we, bit of both. Yeah, I would have thought. So there's, there's one or two players who may not come up from last week, which we won't go into, but um, there's also some things we might want to try in terms of a different look as well. So we're still experimenting with that, especially with Josh not being available this week, and we think he'll be right for the first game of the finals. So how we manage the team without him and how we can get a good enough score has been a challenge when he's not on the side. But on the weekend, it probably wasn't our scoring, it was our defending that was the problem. This is your kind of last dress rehearsal, I guess, before final. The stakes are really high as well, but is it important to get the mix right? Before final? Well, most important this week's a win, so we're not we're not trying too many things. Uh, if we try anything, it'd be out of necessity, not flirting with our form. So we 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 understand what Brisbane can present, uh, especially at home, uh, and what we need to do to get a win. It is really important that we uh, we go full bore this week. This, um Josh not playing, what are, you, what are your sort of thought patterns? Do you try and set up like for like, or do you, do you alter it because he's not there? He's not well, he's missed probably the last five weeks, four weeks, so uh, we've tried a few different things and with mixed mixed results, so that's something we're working through. Having Jack in the side's important, so last week not having him, it did throw us out a little bit. So, yeah, we'll work through some of those things. I, I, mean, I don't know how many games. JK's played this year, but he's missed a fair few, and along with, with Darling, the, the, the combo of them together is probably our best combo, but finding a different way has always been a challenge for us, and now players are playing their role, so they're just doing it a little bit differently. Simon, you mentioned it's all about the win. Uh, how do you see the importance of two home finals? Well, we want second spot, and, that's, and it's up to us. It's ours if we want it, if we can get a win. So, um, But I think I said this in my last uh, meeting, if you could say that we're going to finish top four um, with the opportunity to go for second spot in your last round at the start of the year, I'm not sure how many of you guys tipped us for that. Anyone want to declare that? No, I, I didn't think so. So we, we, we have done a lot right this year and um, there's an opportunity this week to, to consolidate second position, which is fantastic for us and the club. Are you concerned about how you've been starting games the last few weeks? Got jumped a couple of times and have to play catch up football? Yeah, that, that's a good point. Uh, we've, it's been the last four or five weeks. Yeah, it's probably not the full quarter. It's just the first ten minutes in particular. It's been we've been jumped, and um, for whatever reason, it's taken us a while to get into it. Um, and Brisbane start well, so that's that's a great challenge for us to, to get to get that on on our terms. Is going to be difficult, but we're aware of it. You've got some reasonable form. They're different. Yeah, it's it's really hard to put a form line through year to year now with with clubs. It's it is different. So they've got uh, a young list, but big bodies, and uh, there's obviously some pretty good chemistry up there with what Chris is doing with his coaching staff and and Danny Daly, who's you know very highly re regarded around the coaching fraternity. So those two in particular, I think, have. Um, steered the ship in a pretty good direction. So we, we understand what's in front of us. What's the biggest threat, the lines of things in the midfield? Is that Martin in there that you've got to be most concerned about? Yeah, look, they're, they're evolving. You can see it. There's, you can see the system that they're playing at. And from a coaching point of view, when you look at these teams and you see uh, a team on the up, you can, you can see the things that they're doing without going into too much detail that 
it does take time. Uh, the way you defend as a team, for example, is something that um, doesn't just happen overnight. And you can see things clicking for for Brisbane. And when they're on top in the contest, they're really, really dangerous as well. Um, I think they beat Hawthorne a few weeks ago and won the contested ball by 37 or something. So, And they're quick and they play the ground well. So we're aware of their strengths. And they've been in every game, really. They haven't been blown out too often. So I know they've only had four or five wins, but I reckon they must have been in 15 or 16 games. Is there any doubt of a Scott Lysett this week? No, he trained today. He's fine. Do you think he'll bounce back after last week when Max gone? He had a good day, Maxie. <clears throat> yeah, probably the best ruck in the comp. Um, in terms of what we've confronted and, you know, obviously Scott uh, lowered his colours to Max, but that's not the first time that's happened with, with him. So um, another big challenge this week for Scotty and, and for Vardy as well. It's a combination for us and we probably didn't utilise that much on the weekend due to the fact that we lost Jack. We had to play Vardy as a permanent forward, so we just missed that opportunity to get the combo going. And what was your um, thoughts when you heard about what that happened with Ben Cousins? No, he was working at the club early in the year. Um, obviously, it's like everyone we're a bit sanded, uh, saddened by the whole situation, and you know our thoughts are with his family and, and obviously with him. And uh, we've always been there to provide as much support as we possibly can. Um, you know, and that's uh, he hasn't been part of the football club or the football department uh, for a long time, but um, obviously there's still genuine care out there, for, in particular for his family as well. Was he in a good place when he was here? Did, did like that? Uh, he wasn't really connected to the footy department, so I, I saw him a couple of times in the hallway, but um, no, I, I, I couldn't tell you that I had a um, personal relationship, no. And there's, there's been some suggestion that you should try to sell his brown light, I mean, you had a few on Oh, that's, that's, that's gossip, you know. So it's, I don't know if it's even worthy of having those conversations. Really, it's more about... I care about his health and, and his, the health of his family, and that's that probably overrides all the innuendo or the stories for, for me. Adam, your partner's West Coast fever playing in grand final at the same time as you're playing for second spot. Yeah. It's, um, it's great for both clubs. Fantastic. You know, Stacey's done a great job, and, you know, the. the vibe down there is, uh, looks pretty special as well, and they've had a really good year, and, um, you know, they deserve their spot, and hopefully they get a win when we win. win. Do you, they, they talk about the benefits of working with you guys, do you feel some benefits the other way as well? Yeah, well, it can't hurt. We, we've, we've watched them train a couple of times and how they go about it. And they, the, the connection you have with other sports, whilst it's not the number one priority, I think, I think there's always something there in the way you coach, the way you teach. Um, different strategies are always something worth connecting with. So um, when that opportunity arises, definitely you take it.